this video I'm just going to show you quickly how you incorporate your Keynote or your PowerPoint presentation. It'll probably be Keynote because ScreenFlow is a Mac program. So I've just taken a screenshot here of the screen that comes up when you start to open up a file in ScreenFlow so that I can show you what to choose for each um, section here. So you'll see up the top it's saying where do you want to record the desktop desktop from. I'm using an iMac, you're probably using a laptop um, and then it's record iOS device. Now this is if you wanted to record your phone. So uh, that's not for filming videos, that's if you want to show someone how to use an app on your phone or you want to show them how to do something, you would use this. It's fantastic. I've used that before. But you're going to want to use record desktop from and then whatever your choice is up there, you'll probably only have one choice. Then record video from. Now you do have a camera built into your computer and that's what I'm using right now. It is not the best camera but if you're only using it to have, say, a little box down here of you speaking while you're doing a PowerPoint presentation, it's actually fine. Just make sure your lighting's really good, you've got a good light box or something, you know, you're not too dark. But um, I would also recommend that if you're doing a PowerPoint presentation and you don't need your face in there, don't put it in there. Sometimes it's not necessary. Sometimes it's actually distracting when you're teaching as well. That's one thing I've noticed. So I often try to do PowerPoint slides that are interesting, that show, uh, have lots of images and pictures. And sometimes having my picture there, having me talking, is a little bit distracting. But if you want to record your video, and for this we're doing it so that you can see how it all works, you would click record from FaceTime camera. Now, there could be some other choices here. What other choices could we have? You could attach an external camera to your computer if you want to. That's one thing. And then you can use that camera. That's why you can have a choice here. Or the other option that I use sometimes is I will, so there's two things that I'll explain here. The first thing is I will set up my phone and I will record my phone and I will plug in a lapel mic to my phone and at the same time, so simultaneously as I'm recording my PowerPoint presentation, I am filming myself on my phone and it also means I'm getting two audio files. I'm getting the audio from my phone and I'm also getting the audio file from ScreenFlow. And then when I'm finished recording, what I do is I export or I, so I'll save that iPhone video recording onto my laptop onto the desktop and then I will drag it into ScreenFlow and then size it accordingly and then I will prop most likely mute uh, the voice on either my phone or mute the voice on ScreenFlow and it will all be done together. So you, I'm saying that because you don't need to record it all separately. It just means an extra step where you have to do a bit more work. So again, if you're only using a little box in the corner when you're doing PowerPoint presentation and you don't really need the video, I would recommend for ease of use and to save time that you actually just use your camera on your laptop or your computer, although it isn't as good as using your phone or an external camera. If you're wanting to interweave, so you've got PowerPoint, you've got your Keynote, and then you want to have like a your screen sort of um, uh, go into a big picture of you, then by all means, use an external camera. But if you're only using it just to show a little box down the bottom, I would say don't worry about that step. So record video from, we're going to just use FaceTime camera for now. Now the format here is important when you do keynote presentations. The standard is 1280 by 720. That's generally what will come up when you're doing, when you open up a ScreenFlow file. Now if you're going to use that, I want to show you what I've done here. I've actually just overlaid you because my screen is actually my keynote presentation right now. So what have I done? If you remember, screen flow, if you think of it like this, is recording the screen flow, the flow of your screen. You are recording what is happening on your computer. So right now, what is on my computer is what you are seeing. So I've actually opened up my keynote presentation. If I close it, there it is. I'm on to my desktop. I'm going to open that again. So you have 
format 1280 by 720 is what will be your screen flow dimensions. You want to make sure when you go into your keynote presentation that your slide side size matches what your size is going to be in screen flow or you will have uh, for example black bars up the top and the bottom or it won't be the same size. Now if you do that don't worry because you can change the size of your screen and I'll show you in a minute how to do that but generally what I do is I do widescreen 16.9 or you can do the standard 4.3 but I tend to do 16.9 so that's what we're going to choose and then you'll do record audio from internal microphone what you want to do is record the audio from your external mic the internal microphone on most computers isn't fantastic I am using this which is a blue ice mic it's fantastic I've plugged it in so I don't have that in use at the moment because you'll see here I've got record audio from internal microphone so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to come back in and change that so that you can hear the difference all right so stay with me for a moment Okay, I am back and I'm actually inside ScreenFlow because I was changing or configuring my recording and I wanted to show you how to do that. So if I go into the little camera up the top, that's my ScreenFlow icon. I can go down to here. This will usually, if you're not recording, it will say configure recording and it will change that dimension down here. Now I'm going to go back to my keynote slide for a moment. This is where we are. So that has changed to blue, blue snowball. It's not on here because this is a screenshot. And then you can do record computer audio if you want to. So that is everything ready for your keynote. Now, how do you use your keynote? I'm going to show you. So you are currently recording and all you do is you open up your keynote so I've gone into Keynote, File, Open Recent, and I'm just using a previous one for one of my other courses, which is here, okay? So what you want to do is the video is recording, your mic is ready, you are going to hit play on here. So you're going to get the full screen version. And then it's exactly like if you were doing a presentation live with people in the room. That's how you would use your slide. So I'm going to hit play here. Say, hi, welcome. It's great to have you here. Blah, 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 blah. Go through all my slides. This is a, uh, um, a keynote presentation on uh, writing a book so I can go through all these things. I will talk as I'm doing this. So you never have to. It's very rare that you would have to do things separate. Do your presentation separate. Do your video separate. Do your whatever separate. You try to do it. Let your rule be that you're trying to do it all at the same time. Now I am going to click out of here and then I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to press stop record again so that I can come back in and I'll, I will um, start recording again to show you how it looks in ScreenFlow. All right, I am back in ScreenFlow and what I've done is I've actually copied and pasted um, some previous filming that I just did for you so that you can see, I want you to have a look here, you can see that I've actually, it fits the screen perfectly. If we have a look here, I've just muted myself down here. Um, in fact, I'm even just going to delete that video so that you're not confused by two of me. All right, here we go. So, I'm so press stop record again. So this is the previous recording. I will um, start recording again to show you how it looks in ScreenFlow. And then here's the real me and everything is set ready to go. So it's all recorded. Everything that we just did before that I was showing you, it's all recorded and it's fit the screen perfectly. Now, if it doesn't fit your screen, if something's wrong, I'll show you how you can fix that. I'm just going to press stop here. If I click on this here, let's just do it where it's a bit better. If I click on this here, see how it's showing all the bars? I can actually move this around if I want, or I can make it smaller and put it in the middle, or I can make it bigger. So if your screen dimensions don't work, you can change it after you have recorded but the dimensions that I gave you will make it work. Then once that's all done, let's say we're finished, what we want to do is do some editing. Okay, so you've finished everything. We're going to go back to the beginning and here's me setting everything up as I hit record. Now I don't want all of this when I'm just, I'm going to export my video. So when I'm sending this video to you, 
for you to watch. None of this is going to be here, but I want to edit this. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm just going to move a little bit more till there's none of me doing all this mucking about. <laughs> screen flow. Okay. This video, I want to... Okay, so we're going to go from here. All right, now I am going to click on that one. Then I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to click on screen recording as well. And I'm going to split that so that we can get rid of all this, this which is nothing. And then I'm hitting delete. And then I have, I'm going to actually move all of this to the beginning of the timeline. Now to way, the way to do that, which is pretty easy, I'm going to click on that one, then I'm going to hold my shift key down and click on all of them so it clicks everything. Then I'm simply just going to drag it to the beginning. All right, so it will start here. All right, in this video, I want to now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to unclick everything. I want to do a fade in so it doesn't start straight away. So I'm going to click on this, hold my shift key down again, click on this. And then I am going to click that little settings button down here. And if I keep going down, you'll see that split kit clips did what I did before, the cutting. But what I want to do is I want to add a starting transition. So I click starting transition and it's added the, the default transition, which is a fade in. Now, if you don't like that particular transition, let me show you what that looks like, all right? See, just fade it in, it's really simple. But if you don't like that transition, you can change it to something else. If I just increase the size of my files, you'll see that the transitions have been put in here. If I go to these, there's another little setting um, icon. If I click on that, I can actually change the transition to something else. So let's say I'm going to do crosshair or cube. Let's do cube because that'll be an obvious change. I'll show you what that looks like. See? All right, in this video. Now, I've only done it for that top one. Sorry, I should have done it for both. So let me click on both so that I'm doing it at the same time. Let me go to cube. All right, here we go. Try it again. Oh, it's not done it because I did it the wrong way. Here we go. If it doesn't work, you just got to do it separate. Okay, here we go. There you go. See? So that is how you add the transitions. That is how you add Keynote. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can incorporate your video from your external video device, filming device, so that you can work out how to incorporate it all together. But I hope that has helped you in learning how to use Keynote with ScreenFlow.